As God is shutting the door against the destroyer, He will open up doors of blessings and favor for you. You will see yourself grow in leaps and bounds. You will experience the joy that comes with the blessings that only God can give. Christ said that He came to give life and to give it in abundance. In other words, God wants you to enjoy life to the fullest. He wants you to be fulfilled, experience His glory, and manifest His greatness while you are here on earth. You have every reason to be glad because the enemies will not have their place in your life. Instead, you will progress and receive blessings upon blessings in everything that you do. When God shuts a door, no man can open it, and when He opens a door, no man can shut it. The same power to shut and open things have been invested in us as children of God. Christ told us that whatever we bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever we lose on earth shall be lost in heaven. That means God has given us the authority to shut down the activities of the destroyer in our lives. You can speak against them in the place of prayer. Call them to come out of your life and then shut the door permanently against them. The presence of the destroyer in a man's life signify a lot of things, and none of them are good things. When a person experiences continuous retrogression in his life, that is the destroyer at work. When things are not going well as they should despite your best efforts, that is the destroyer working to bring your downfall. And it could be in any area of life. It could be in one's marriage. The destroyer would just work to steal the peace and the joy of the marriage. And that is where you see loving couples turn their backs on each other or decide to get a divorce. It could as well be in your business. Maybe something that has been flourishing and experiencing expansion in the past suddenly becomes dry and unstable and one is already tending towards bankruptcy. It might as well be your health whereby a person finds it difficult to function effectively and become whole. The destroyer could also be at work in your ministry, turning people against themselves and causing things to be stagnant rather than progress. And even worse still, the destroyer can work in a person's heart, bringing lukewarmness and a nonchalant attitude toward things of God. That is the ultimate destruction the enemy can bring, severing your relationship with God. All these are the plans of the destroyer for you, and all he wants is a chance to get into your life and wreak havoc. But all of these areas are places where God wants to bless and make you prosper. 1 John chapter 1 verse 2 says, Above all things, God wants us to prosper and be in health even as our soul prospers. Instead of problems in your family and marriage, God will cause you to be closely knitted and bless you with so much blessings joy and happiness. You will experience love and marital bliss in the marriage. The door will be shut against every agent of the devil that wants to destroy what God has done in your life. Remember, it is God that has joined you with your spouse. And so, no man, not even the devil, will be able to pull you apart. In your finances, God will shut the door against every devourer. You will have profits and experience geometric increase and expansion in your business. God will see to it that everything you touch and every venture you lay your hands on begin to prosper and multiply. Even your health will not fail. Sickness will have no place in your life. Every life-threatening illness that have found its way into your life will be expelled and taken out by force. They will not have a place in your life, and instead, God will bless you with divine healing and health. He will make you strong even in your old age. He will heal you of every form of infirmities and cause you to experience good health while you are here on earth. And most importantly, God will guard the seat of your heart and stop the work of the enemies there. Your relationship with Him is the most precious treasure that you have, and the destroyer wants to take that from you. Can the devil stand the presence of God? Can light and darkness dwell together? Impossible. So when God is in your life, the devil does not stand a chance. The mere presence of the Lord in your life is enough to put fear into his heart and make him stay away from you. That is to tell you that you have a role to play as well. The major way through which the destroyer gains access into a person's life is through sin. That is why the Bible tells us to guard our hearts with all diligence 
because out of it proceeds the issues of life. Your heart is first and foremost the most important place to watch if you really want the destroyer out of your life permanently. As much as you realize that your body is the temple of Christ, then you should not allow any form of evil in your heart. If indeed Christ dwells inside of you, then you have no cause to be worried. You will keep out the devil and open the doors for your blessings. You will no longer experience pain, shame, failure, suffering, and retrogression. You will no longer have to suffer in vain. You will not have to put in so much work and reap little in the end. Instead, you will begin to experience God's help in all that you do. You will receive favor in the sight of all who see you and the little that you do will increase greatly. You will see things work out with ease for you and those things that have characterized your life in the past will be forgotten. In the place of poverty, you will have wealth and abundance. For you have been experiencing one form of sickness or the other, you will have God's healing and start enjoying divine health. Your family will become stable and as the Bible says, they shall be signs and wonders on the earth. When you put in little effort, you will have great results to show for it. That is, you will reap multiple fold. That's what the blessings of God can do in your life. You might have opened the door to the destroyer in the past and he has managed to wreak so much havoc in your life. It might look as though all hope is lost, but that is not the case. With God, nothing shall be impossible. God can restore everything that you have lost in the past. He can help you get back every treasure that the enemy has stolen. Even when the situation looks dead, he can breathe life into it and resuscitate it. All you need to do is do away with sin and every other thing that can give the destroyer access into your life. Invite Christ into your life and let him take control. When Christ comes in, he will ban every work and activity of the devil. He will send out the destroyer permanently. Then he will set about repairing everything that has been broken in your life. He will ensure that you've experienced a new lease of life. Old things are passed away. You have suffered and gone through all of that pain enough. Enough of that poverty and wretchedness. Enough of that sickness and pain. Enough of the devil toying with your life and making all of your efforts insignificant. Enough of the tears that comes with disappointment and rejection from every quarter. All those are the activities of the destroyer in your life, but they will soon become a thing of the past. God will shut the door against them permanently. They will have no place in your life anymore. Once all of those things cease in your life, you will experience the kind of life God wants you to. You will have a smooth fellowship with God. See your business prosper and receive promotion from every corner. You will see God's blessings reigning continuously on your life.